In this video, I'm going to show you a simple little adjustment that you can use to absolutely torch 30 yard cloud flats, get the ball over the top, really simple little play that you can use um, to just simply move the ball against any defense in this game. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every day that can help you become a better player on offense and on defense. We have uh, 13 ebooks, guys. I just released my 13th ebook. I released this Trio Y Flex. We're in the Giants playbook. Um, guys, the Trio Y Flex is really, really underrated. Um, I'm not sure of any competitive player that I know off the top of my head right now that is running this, but I just have to tell you guys, this offense is really, really, really good. So um, I got 13 ebooks over at my Patreon. If you want to get this ebook as well as the other 12 um, ebooks that I have over there, I got eight defenses, five offenses. Uh, be sure to go over and join that Patreon, guys. We've been pumping out a ton of ebooks, a ton of material uh, to help you get better. So if you want to get access to all of that, you get unlimited access for just 10 bucks a month by joining the Patreon. Um, and while your subscription is active, you get access to everything. You get access to every ebook that we've already released. You get access to every ebook that we're going to release, any kind of updates, any kind of tip videos we do, exclusive tips over there. Um, you get access to everything. So uh, that being said, guys, I would really, really encourage you if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, be sure to join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks a month. Now, um, you can actually do this setup from anything. All you need is a slot apprentice or a um, hot route master. I personally really like to use the play slot out, but you could do this out of any any play. Uh, one of my other favorites is PA crossers, uh, but we're just use slot out, okay? So the setup for this is really simple. Um, all we're going to do is we are simply going to put Godwin on a crosser. We're going to block our running back. And then you can honestly do whatever you want to do with your tight end. If you want to put him on a zig route, that's a good route. If you want to put him on a slant route, that's a really good route. If you want to put him on a hitch, that's another good route, right? You can do whatever you want. I personally uh, prefer to put him on a zig, uh, especially for this concept because I've got that spot route on the left side that I'm going to use as a check down. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to motion the crosser to the numbers. And we're going to snap right on the numbers. And what you're going to see is look at how deep this crosser is going to get. If I pass lead that up, you're going to see that he's going to go about 30, or, uh, 45 yards down the field. Now, it is really important to understand that when you're running this concept, I think it's super, super important that you go ahead and make sure that you um, that you're on the wide like your trips are to the wide side of the field. And the reason why that's so important is because what's going to happen is you want this guy to have time to run. Another thing that's really important about this is be sure to run it with this guy. If you run it with the other two receivers, in my opinion, it's just not been as successful for me. But when I get it with this guy, it seems like he runs for longer and gets over the top of zones a little bit better. So you see, I could throw it there, but I could also wait on it and throw it all the way up here, which is going to get it over the top of 30 yard cloud flats. Now, one of the other things that I want to show you real quick is I'm going to jump into the Mike Blitz 3 uh, kind of meta coverage. Uh, and what we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you kind of what this play looks like from that perspective. So uh, this is the Mike Blitz 3 meta. And again, I'm going to block my running back. So what you'll see here is this slot fade. We'll do a really good job of pulling these zones. I can throw the ball right there. I don't have to wait on it to get over the over to the sideline. Okay, I really don't. Um, another thing that I think is really cool about this about this offense or about this play is how it's going to perform in terms of like a Mabel uh, concept, like what I'm talking about here is you're going to see that this this uh, crosser is, if even if they use her this, because they're going to have to use her all the way across the field. Once it starts to come into this grid here, you're going to see, I mean, see how deep that gets. It just gets super deep. It gets super open, right? Well, what the defense is going to do, and this is where it gets interesting. So um, most of the time, if you get, let's say you get a three-man rush, okay? And remember, they have to use her, the crosser. They can't. They can't go to other routes. So let's just say you get like a three-man rush, okay? Um, what you should see is in that situation, unless they put a vert hook over here, this spot will be, this little spot route will be wide open, as you can see. 
The other thing that you could do is, let's say, for example, you know, and again, this is why I like to do this once I know they're going to Mabel, okay? But let's say, for example, we get a Tampa 2 and we get something that looks essentially like this, right? Okay, that's where I'll take this guy on the right and start putting him on a hitch. Uh, and what you'll see is these hitches will just kill him because they get so pulled out, they have to go with this crosser. Now I can just playmaker. Now I can just playmaker these hitches open. Um, and the cool part about that spot route is if you put that tight end on the whip, and I'll show that real quick. So let's say you're, um, the cool part about these spot routes is, is again, because their user, most people um, are gonna put it so that their user is in the middle of the field by himself, basically. What you can do, so like you see here, see I got this zig, zig's gonna pull out all the zones on that side. So now I can playmaker the spot route to the right. And as you can see, I could just basically get him open easily, okay? Because their user has to run all the way upfield. He's got to go up there. If he doesn't go up there, it's a dot every single time. So this is truly one of my favorite little concepts uh, in the game. I love how this crosser works. You just want to get him just to the numbers or just outside the numbers is enough space. And then what you'll see is the spacing is so good. And I'm just going to pass lead him up and to the outside. And as you see, that's about a 30 um, or I apologize, that's about a 45 yard dot over the top of any zone drop. Um, the other thing that I want to just quickly hit on is uh, just some situational things about this. So let's say, for example, um, let's say, for example, they're going to cover two on this. OK, you can throw this crossing route like up the seam. So uh, and I, I'll try to get a good look here. Like you don't have my point is you don't have to wait. So. Um, let me try to give you a good, a better example than what I just showed you. So let's say, for example, they go like this out of a Tampa 2, and they're going to double flat, and then they're going to use her in the middle of the field, right? Okay, well, let's just say, just hypothetically, right, let's say we take our tight end and we, you know, again, you can do whatever. Just, you, you just put them on a zig. It's fine. Um, but watch what happens. You see how these flats will get pulled by the zig, and I can throw that early too. So I don't just have to wait is what I'm getting at. So let's say, for example, they're usering over here. Okay, because they're, they're, maybe they want to stop the run. Maybe they, I don't know. You know, there's reasons why people do this. Uh, I see it a lot when I run this offense. Most people like to user over here. Okay, that's just what they like to do. So then what you can do is you can, and if you want to run him scout vertical, you can. Or you could just simply run him on a, a quick little whip route. But now what you're going to get is there's just nowhere for that. They can't get under. See how, see how these deep blue zones are not going to ever be able to get underneath it. And you can throw it super fast. You can actually, um, you know, let's say, for example, you know, let's, like this is a great example. So, like, they're going to send pressure, okay? They're going to send some pressure. It's very difficult, and I mean very difficult, for their user to get over here so i can throw that early too i that's all i was trying to show you is that i can throw it early i can throw it late i can throw it against man i can throw it against zone it does not matter what they do this is going to be a very open play it's very difficult for the defense to be able to guard this as you can see when he cuts down it's wide open i like to put route tech on this guy um which is going to make it even more open but the bottom line is this is an absolute laser uh, and i will also say like if I'm in a cover four, um, I'm not sure if this will work out of this cover four, um, but there are some examples you'll see right here. This fade, if I throw this hard to the outside to like lob like this, sometimes I'll get a step. So you always want to at least peek it, see if it's there. If it's there, take it. If it's not there, then go ahead and, and move on. And you know, if you don't want to run the fade, that's fine. Um, you can simply run him on a, a, a seam streak. Right, there's all kinds of ways that you can run this concept. This is just one of them. I really like this uh, for the most part. The one thing I just wish that Faye would just get a little bit more separation against like a cover two style set. But it's really, again, guys, I can't stress to you enough how much I like this play because essentially we've got a high low, uh, is really it. But the beauty is, and you can actually let him go all the way over here, let him set his fee if you want. Uh, and you'll see, pass lead hard left. And I mean, he gets, he gets over the top. So 
that's just a simple little trick I like to use uh, to put my crosser, uh, on, give him some more space so he can get over the top of some zones. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn this rest of this offense and you want to learn every or you want to get instant access to every other ebook that I've got, which I think, like I said, I have 13 ebooks out right now. Uh, be sure to join the Patreon. The Patreon is just $10 a month. And like I said, for $10 a month, you're going to get access to unlimited um, ebooks, all that stuff. And the cool part about it is you can cancel whenever you'd like to. Okay, so you don't have to sign up for a year. You can just sign up and, and, and do it one month and not do it another month and then come back and do it another month, right? However it works for you. But uh, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon. It's the best way you can support me. And I, I really feel like we've got some stuff in there that is really valuable and will help you become a better player.